Grammy Awards had some fun last night at the expense of the most despised U.S. president of all time. Even as Donald Trump surely slept through the awards while he was passed out with a Big Mac in his hand, his advisors and his family did not take the jabs particularly well. Donald Trump Jr. quickly threw a tantrum, hurling one juvenile barb at Hillary Clinton after another. During the Grammys, Hillary appeared in a video and began reading a passage from the Michael Wolff book Fire and Fury about Trump's penchant for McDonald's and his paranoid belief that he's going to be poisoned. Hint, McDonald's is poison. Trump Jr. didn't take too kindly to the joke, tweeting getting to read a fake news book excerpt at the Grammys seems like a great consolation prize for losing the presidency. Wait a minute, really Jr. and his father committed treason in order to rig the election in their favor, yet he seems to think treason is funny. Undaunted by his own idiocy, Jr. continued, the more Hillary goes on television the more the American people realize how awesome it is to have Donald Trump in office. Er, again, no. The polls say that Trump's approval rating is mired in the 30s, making him historically unpopular. In fact he's lost significant support since taking office when his approval rating was in the 40s. So if anything, more American people are realizing how horrible it is to have Donald Trump in office. Donald Trump Jr. WASNT the only one who couldn't handle the Grammys. Donald Trump's UN ambassador Nikki Haley tweeted I have always loved the Grammys but to have artists read the Fire and Fury book edit. Don't ruin great music with trash. Some of us love music without the politics thrown in it. These Trump people just don't seem to get that most Americans see them as the most dangerous enemy that America has ever faced. Keep up to date with the latest Palmer Report articles via email. Get the latest content first. Email address update preferences new articles are added daily subscribe now we respect your privacy.